Hello, Indigo here. We're going to do a quick compare and contrast between these two eye cases. They're both considered to be a hard uh, case for your eyeglasses or for protective lenses. This one is from Mutter. Um, I looked it up online and the only place you can find these is pretty much Amazon. So it must be some uh, company that primarily just sells through Amazon from China. This is a, it's a hard case and uh, it's, uh, it's about the size that you would think of as, as holding standard size uh, glasses. Right here we have a, um, we have a standard uh, eye protection you might want to wear at the range or if you're at work. So it easily folds into there and, and uh, zips up with no problem. One of the other things I noticed about this was that um, its attachment point here is uh, plastic and it's, it's probably okay. But uh, where it's actually sewn into uh, to the case right here, it's not in there real, real good. Um, as you can see, just pulling it just a little bit, you can already see it starting to give. So this is uh, really kind of a case more for throw it in your bag, throw it in your truck, throw it in your glove box. Keep your, uh, your glasses or your protective eyewear from getting scratched up you, you know, while you're not using it. Uh, maybe even attach this inside of a bag so you can find it faster. But uh, hanging this off of something, uh, you may not uh, have it hang in there when you come back. Um, as you can see here, the size, if we put it here in the old, the old metal measuring stick here, and we've got about six-ish. So that's the size on this one. Now this one is the Hazard 4. Now this one comes in three different sizes from Hazard 4. This one right here is called the Mill Pod. They have a smaller one called a Pod and a larger one called the Sub Pod. And um, they come in two colors, the one you see here which is Coyote and Black. This one has a nice little pull tab right here uh, with the zipper so it's easy to get a hold of it. It uh, opens right up, it's nice and, uh, nice and soft inside just like the other ones. It keeps things from getting scratched up. Easily uh, can accept a regular pair of uh, glasses. Um, this one is bigger, as you'll see right here. This one is about seven-ish. And like I said, this is the medium-sized one. Um, the nice thing about this one is that it has this uh, snap right here. So you can attach it to something that way, perhaps put it on your belt. It has this attachment point here that's uh, a lot more stout. It's got a little metal sort of uh, attachment here. Uh, one, uh, on a bit of a um, retention piece so that uh, you can just go ahead and snap it on there. This one is much, much, much stronger. Uh, this you could actually attach to the side of your car while you're driving on the highway at 100 miles an hour and uh, provided that what you attached it to didn't come off, you'd probably still have your case. Now, both of these are considered hard cases uh, and they are both hard. However, uh, they're not crush proof. I mean, if you, if you really wanna make these more uh, crush proof or crush resistance. What I do is I took a standard case that I got with uh, some prescription glasses. This one is actually metal and uh, what's nice about this one from the Hazard 4, you can go ahead and nest it right in there just like that and zip it right up. And that makes it uh, double the strength for crush resistance. Now. Since it is a compare and contrast, uh, the, the one here from, uh, from Hazard 4 is a lot more expensive. Uh, I believe it's about 20 bucks, and there, there might be some shipping in there. Uh, this one here from Amazon, uh, as usual, is very inexpensive. It's about eight bucks. If you've got Amazon Prime, it's eight bucks and no shipping. Uh, however, like I said, if, if all you need is something to throw in your glove box and your range bag or something like that to protect your iPro, then you know this would be okay. It's not that bad. You can see how easy it is to, to, to crush here. Whereas this one is more expensive, obviously, but it's uh, it's a lot harder, you know, to, to crush in. Much much better uh, materials, and uh, the workmanship on it is very very good. So this one obviously is superior. If this is a mission critical thing where you're keeping something in here that you absolutely positively do not want to get uh, damaged or lost then you probably want to go with the Hazard 4. But if you want something that's completely economical, this Mutter, links will be down in the description after the video, is probably the way to go. Hopefully you'll, uh, you'll like this video. If so, great. If not, then oh well.
fragging out. In the go out. <laughs>